everyone welcome to a new video today i'm gonna be showing you how i make this gingham red and pink uh like color block dress um i self-drafted this pattern from a top that i already owned um, so here i'm just tracing the top and um, making a pattern for it and um, this is going to be the back panel so this you can see the zipper that's where i'm going to put the back uh, the zipper on the back of the dress as well just drawing it out i'm not that much of a perfectionist but i'm adding some seam allowance for the zipper as well and some for the top and the armpits so don't forget that then here i am tracing the um, sleeve of the top this is just a rough estimate i'm not that particular with sleeves just make sure that the armhole fits and if it's a little bit bigger on the arm itself that's fine because i'm going to be adding elastic anyway so here i am cutting out my pattern pieces and i'm cutting out two of the red and then two of the pink for the bodice uh, because i'm going to be using a lining that is the same as the outer fabric um, which you will see later as well so here i'm just cutting everything out for the bodice and the top of the dress so that's the sleeves you see there those are cut on fold um, yeah just cutting everything out then i am putting the red pieces on top of the pink fabric just to make sure that they're cut out the exact same uh, size and I am cutting out two pieces of pink as well from each except the sleeves because I'm just cutting one red sleeve and one pink sleeve but for the bodice I'm cutting out two of everything so I have enough for the lining as well oh except for the little um, cup itself that's also just one time in red and one time in pink and then of course I have to add some pockets so I'm cutting those out from uh, each of the colors fabric as well so here I'm just sewing up the middle the bodice so that um, yeah just the front of the bodice and I'm doing this for the outer fabric and also for the lining because this is gonna be the piece that is the lining and here I'm sewing the lining and the front of the front fabric together at the little top there as well so then I'm pinning together all these side seams so that the front bodice and the back bodice are all lined up and pinned together to be sewn together so for this bodice piece I'm not doing a, a zigzag stitch I'm only doing a straight stitch because it's going to be lined so all the seams will be hidden in this bodice piece so I'm just sewing up the side seams uh, of the outer fabric and also for the lining So then I am sewing together the um, lining and the outer fabric together at the top of the back uh, piece and I've done it at the front there as well earlier and then I'm going to be ironing all the seams open and flat and here you can see there's like a big gap like hole in between where the cup is gonna go and also where the sleeve is gonna go. So then I'm folding it over and then I'm just ironing those seams nice and neat so that the entire bodice is well basically coming together. So here, just nice and flat. So that's where the piece that I've just sewn together. Now I'm gonna be ironing a little um, casing for the string to go in later. So just ironing that on the cup pieces, just like a rolled hem, but just a little bit wider. And then 
just doing a little world hem on that uh, inner front of the cup as well. If that makes sense. Yeah, both colors, uh, nice and ironed. It's gonna make sewing a lot easier. So then I'm also ironing the pieces where the cups are gonna go on the bodice. I'm just folding that in once on each side of the bodice, so the outer fabric and the lining, so that I can just insert the cup later and like only have to top stitch it. So here I'm just sewing up those middle front pieces of the cups. Um, it's just going to make it nice and finished since um, I don't want the fabric just to be fraying there. Um, then I'm going to be sewing that casing closed. So this is just like a little piece where the uh, string that we're going to make later is going to go to uh, keep the cups together and kind of like make a little bow at the middle of the front. So yeah, sewing that up on both of the cups. Then I'm gonna be doing a gathering stitch. So I'm not doing like back and forth to keep the stitch in place. I'm just doing a really wide, long stitch, as long as it can go. I think mine is on 4.5 millimeters. So I'm just doing that. And then here you can see that I'm gathering up that stitch we just did to fit into the little cup places we just ironed in place so I'm just pinning that together and obviously I'm doing the red against the pink and then I'm gonna be doing the pink against the red as well so just pinning that and gathering that up um, the top of the cup is gonna be where the string is so that's what I'm making right now I'm just sewing that together I've ironed that as well and I'm only doing a top stitch just to make my life a little easier um, yeah, just making one long piece, but I'm gonna be cutting this in half and then sewing that up like at the little ends as well. So it's nice and neat. Um, then I'm inserting those ties or strings into the cups and I'm pinning it together, like I'm pinning it in place and sewing it in place um, at the side seam of the cup, just so that the string doesn't go anywhere and just stays in that casing. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna be sewing those cups to the bodice just with a top stitch. So it's inserted into the bodice, um, into that uh, front piece and that lining as well. So it's nice and neat, all enclosed. And yeah, there you can see the string that's gonna be tying together. So then I'm just sewing up the sleeves, sewing those with a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch, or a uh, or you can serge this as well. Then I'm gonna be making a similar like enclosing on that sleeve as well, because it's gonna be over the shoulder and there's not gonna be any thing that's attached to this. I'm gonna be putting elastic in this so it's nice and tied over the shoulder so I'm just putting kind of like a rolled hem again just a little bit wider not the entirety of the sleeve because the part that's under the armpit is gonna be sewn to that bodice so it's only the kind of area that's over the shoulder and then I'm gonna be sewing this up as well and then um, I'm doing this obviously on both sleeves again just seeing the red here but I'm also doing the pink and then I am going to be inserting the elastic into the sleeves um, just with a safety pin and then just getting that through there. Then I am pinning the sleeves into place, like into the bodice and um, just making sure everything lines up and then where Just quickly sewing all of those uh, elastic pieces into place so they don't move and then I'm gonna be sewing the sleeve to the bodice 
and I'm doing this with a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch as well or if you have a serger just insert this edge as well then I'm just doing a little rolled hem on that sleeve just to make sure it's all nice and neat and then this skirt so I'm pinning the pockets I have done um, for the front of the skirt I have the one side is gonna be pink and the other side is gonna be red um, just make sure you line this up with the bodice and they kind of mix and match uh, as well so I'm just putting those into place those pockets and then the back is kind of mirrored so um, on the side seams you have pink and red on the front there's pink and red and then on the back as well it's just four pieces of the skirt that's kind of sewn together then just sewing those pockets into place um, opening it up and then sewing the side seams uh, with those pockets as well so you can search this after you've done the straight stitch or you can do a zigzag stitch either way I just make sure those frayed edges are nice and neat as well so then I'm just doing a really big gathering stitch again all along the top of the dress and then I am going to be gathering that dress to the sides of the bodice so I'm lining up all those seams so they're nice and neat and they're perfectly kind of mix and matching as you can see the reds against the pink and the pinks against the red and then I'm just gathering that up um, and pinning it into the bodice again so that seam is just gonna be enclosed and we're only gonna have to do a top stitch on that So then I am top stitching the skirt to the bodice um, as close to the edge as I can. Um, you could do this in a different way as well, but I just found this the easiest. Then I'm doing a rolled hem on the entire bottom of the skirt just to make it nice and neat. And I'm inserting a invisible zipper, um, just top stitching this into the bodice as well. Hate zippers so if you um, want a more detailed uh, explanation of how to do this <laughs> just look it up on some of the other amazing creators on here I'm not the best to explain this to you I still struggle with this but then I'm just sewing close that back seam of the dress and then um, I'm also lastly adding some elastic to the sleeves just stretching out that elastic to fit um, onto the sleeve this is the inside of the sleeve so I'm just sewing up like onto a straight line of that gingham and I'm just stretching that out just sewing over top of the elastic and making sure it's in place so that's it that's how the dress turned out I really love how it turned out it's so fun I wish I made the cups a little bit bigger because it looks a little awkward in that area but just don't pay attention to it. I still love how it looks and it's so cute and it's my two favorite colors so I just love wearing this and it's so fun for the summer. Yeah just let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you soon. Thank you bye bye have a good day.